that one family member who refused the vaccine. Now I think we've all seen this genre of movie where you have the family of monsters or the family of freaks with the nice caring human, but as we all know, in every single one of these movies, the nice, beautiful, caring mum almost always dies of some kind of disease, so ultimately this analogy is pretty accurate. <laughs> Special thank you to YouTube members Sebastian Durendorf and Holly Miller, and to patrons NQS and McPuffin for supporting my channel and supporting my content. Thank you so much, guys. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. If I've managed to overcome some of the difficulties I've been having then you will see this, if I haven't then you'll see an announcement video instead. So I got a new PC, I'm gonna cue some b-roll footage I took of this machine, it's an absolute beast. It's got an i7 10 series processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX 3070. But this is Blue the Nerd, I can't get tech and it just works out the box. That's just not how it works around here. I don't think that's ever happened with me. So naturally, the graphics card has arrived broken. <laughs> So, so I can't use the graphics card. I'm currently using the onboard graphics. I'm plugged into the motherboard. Now, I can still edit, hopefully. We'll see by the end of this video. But yeah, no graphics card until it gets fixed and uh, Chill Blast customer service isn't open on weekends, so I'm gonna have to wait to even find out. Hello! <laughs> can you, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I guess I left my door open. There she goes! <laughs> Right, back to the video. <laughs> my, my cat's just gonna be in the background now. <laughs> She's gonna ask to leave in a second, I can tell. Anyway, let's get into the subreddit. As you know, we're doing Vax Happened. You don't need a vaccine. You need to eat better. It's been, what, a year? and 2.3 million people have died. It takes time to get healthy and to lose weight. It doesn't just happen immediately. There, there's a, an, a minimum amount of time it can take for you to get healthy, especially if you're incredibly overweight. I know this for a fact. I would much, oh, hello. <laughs> I would much rather I had a vaccine. Don't you step on my keyboard. I would much rather I had a vaccine and was able to survive before I lost the weight, than die in the process of losing the weight. <laughs> this video is a mess. Many dropping dead after COVID shot. Shocking videos at vaccinefromhell.com. Oh, I'm gonna have to Google this website, aren't I? Vaccine from hell.com shop it shocking videos this oh my gosh this video is an hour long i'm not gonna sit through this whole thing my camera can't record for that long i've got a 30 minute time limit <laughs> share download re-upload yeah no thanks all right uh, let's just move on <laughs> The only sad thing about getting the COVID vaccine is there's not going to be any more of these hilarious parodies. Nah, I'll have plenty to sing about, I'm sure. The mRNA vaccine will change your DNA and it has a 97% chance of making you sterile. Ask the people of India why their government banned Bill Gates from going to India. Maybe had something to do with the 400 kids he paralyzed and killed with his jabs. COVID is a psyop. Do not get the jab. It's always Bill Gates. I've always found that weird. Like, of all the big corporate dudes that are corrupt, it's always Bill Gates. Gates, you know, it's never Mark Zuckerberg is this evil man trying to force vaccines on you or, you know, Jeff Bezos who is literally Lex Luthor. Like, it's always Bill Gates who him and his wife actively do an incredibly large amount of charity work. <laughs> also, I just want to get it out there that no vaccine can change your DNA. That's not how vaccines or DNA works. I did my own research, meaning watched someone else's YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like, oh, I am a mother and I've done my research, which clearly means that I am able to find, collate, and assess information far better than someone that has an entire degree on the subject because I am a mother and I use Facebook. <laughs> 
Doctors do it for a living. It's literally their job. They had to study for like 10 years to get to this point. You don't know better than a doctor. This is a bad thing? What? It's an experimental RNA vaccine created by a company who has never made a vaccine and also makes people infertile. Where's the infertile thing coming from? What do you want about? Are you supposed to be helping indigenous people? They will poison all the tribes with this untested dangerous vaccination so that they can get rid of them. Wow. I mean, no. They're not making people infertile. Where has that even come from? I don't know what company they're talking about here when they say that it's a company who's never made a vaccine, but I imagine all of them have. I mean, if you look at Pfizer, for example, they're known for being a Viagra company, right? However, they have a website that shows you the history of Pfizer vaccines, and they've released a vaccine every 10 years, if not sooner, for like the last 100 years. They have a history in this kind of thing. What are you doing? You might see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see her now. <laughs> All right. I think she wants to be let out. No, dude. Anti-vaxxers aren't hurting anyone. And that's the truth. Unvaccinated kids and their very well-educated parents can't spread illness they don't have. And if we're sick, which is a rare occasion, we stay home. This mainstream narrative that they don't vax... What? The... Okay. Dangerous is completely stupid. Where is the logic? Because we chose to keep our baby free from toxic chemicals and are boosting our immune systems naturally with clean food, fresh water, and hygiene? What? That makes us dangerous? My daughter is incredibly healthy and intelligent. I guarantee she's not. So there's a couple of things I want to look at. First of all, we're going to look up the COVID vaccine ingredients. Just let's take a look. Let's see what, what possible toxic chemicals there could be in this. Owing to the concerns on the use of some preservatives in vaccines, there is no formaldehyde, aluminium, thimerosal in the vaccine. There is also no egg used. As the mRNA technology used to create the Pfizer vaccine is created in a lab, no fetal tissue is used in its production. So like everything the anti-vaxxers claim is just not in this vaccine, basically. Um, and as for the whole boosting our immune systems naturally with clean food, fresh water, and hygiene, do you assume that because people vaccinate, they don't do those things? I eat healthy food, I drink fresh water, and I wash regularly. I also have a vaccine, which means that my immune system is double the strength of yours because I do everything you do and more. Using your own logic against you. <laughs> Step one, never vaccinate them. Step two, never vaccinate them. Step three, never ever vaccinate them. Step four, keep them far away from any kind of vaccines. Step five, raise them all on alkaline vegan diet all their lives and never vaccinate them. Not the alkaline diet thing. I thought we were past this. I thought 30 years of scientific evidence that alkaline and acidic foods have no effect on your blood. I thought that ended it. I thought that was it. The amount of idiocy I've seen behind the alkaline diet thing. I'll see if I can find the video. There was a dude that was like talking about alkaline diets and he brings up lemons and he's like, I know that this is acidic, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have alkalizing effects. Stuff like lemon water, that's actually very good to alkalize your body. Do not think, sometimes you think of, well, citrus fruits like lemons and oranges, those are acidic, right? Well, just because the fruit itself is acidic, doesn't mean that once it enters into your body that it doesn't have an alkalizing effect. So according to this video, we can just use some baking soda, which is a nice, easy, cheap method, but apparently we can also use lemons. That caught me off guard, and I did a little research and was surprised to see how many people claim lemons are alkalizing. This guy says, and I quote, just because the fruit itself is acidic doesn't mean that once it enters your body, it doesn't have an alkalizing effect. It's kind of funny because that's literally exactly what it means. Oh, jeez. Doesn't it just, doesn't it just make you want to do something? I don't know. It makes me want to eat lemons, dog. <laughs> no, well, I just meant California should be renamed Califarma. <laughs> 
Most states offer vaccine exemptions, philosophical, religious, and medical. Kelly doesn't have any of their exemptions, which means your children won't be able to attend school without vaccinations. It's awful. No dude, it's safe. Not only are you putting your own kids at risk, you're putting kids at risk that aren't actually physically capable to get vaccinations. Because there are medical exemptions you can get. And in California, for example, if you're on chemotherapy or have autoimmune disease and getting vaccinated could actually be fatal. They're not going to force you to get that vaccination. However, being around kids that are, have these illnesses but might be asymptomatic could kill those people. So we vaccinate to protect. It's protecting yourself, your kids, and the people around you. That's the whole point. It's the same thing with masks. Hi all. So all four of my kids got the flu two weeks ago. Some strep throat in addition. Their ages are two to nine. We don't vaccinate against the flu and we didn't do Tamiflu. Well, there's your reason. End of post. No. My five-year-old fell sick last night and by this morning he was in bad shape. We went to the doctor today and he tested positive for the flu. Last time he had flu B, now it's flu A. I had the doctor check all my other kids' charts and they had flu B last time, which means they're at risk now too. I'm super alternative with my kids, especially during the winter months. We do elderberry, bone broth, colloidal silver, manuka honey, echinacea, I cook organic, we eat clean and we don't vaccinate. All of those things that vac anti-vaxxers are on. So being so proactive and a health nut with my kids, it baffles me that my ch child got the flu not once but twice. Because you don't understand how diseases work. You're like, oh, we didn't vaccinate against the flu, so how could my child possibly get it? <laughs> Do you need any more evidence that elderberry syrup, bone broth, and colloidal silver don't have any effect on the severity of your illness or the fact that you got it than the fact that your child got it twice? It doesn't work. You're not a health nut. You are an idiot <laughs> that doesn't understand health. <laughs> Apologies for even wasting your time and attention with this, but look at the mother effing thumbnail for this article. The patient giving the devil horn sign, literally hailing Satan from his recovery bed. That is just the most obvious sign of hoaxing it is possible to give, and I call crisis actor at this point. <laughs> it's no new news that conservative Christians believe that metal heads are Satanists, right? That's been going since the 80s. That's always been a thing. Thing. However, we're gonna go back on the subject that I've mentioned in previous videos, that is, if this really was a Satan regime being led by Satan or Satanists to fool everyone, do you really think they would be so dumb as to advertise it with their very symbol? That's like the Illuminati doing some conspiracy and then putting the all-seeing eye on the front of it. Like, it's not gonna happen. If they are really an underground secret organization, they're gonna be smarter than that. They're gonna be smarter than you. The population control agenda. Through vaccines, birth control, transgender push, fake food, etc. will work on those who believe everything they're told. The only ones left will think for themselves. The healthy ones, not a bunch easily handled. So what's the end goal? So I'm editing right now and I'm looking at this post and I just thought of something that they've said that just really doesn't line up that I didn't notice before. They're mentioning that this is about population control, but they also mentioned that the only people that are going to be left are the people that don't obey the population control. So I have now got to ask, what could any government possibly have to gain from killing off all of the people that obey them and only being left with the people that don't? Surely the logical route would be to go the opposite direction and to 
only kill off the people that don't obey them. It's a big disconnect in their thinking here that just doesn't quite line up. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say that birth control is a good thing. <laughs> For every one person that dies, I think 2.5 people are born. So our, our population is rapidly increasing faster than we can handle it, as shown by the fact that the world is literally ending. So there's nothing wrong with population control, in my opinion. But this also assumes that vaccines are population control when they keep people alive. Birth control? Yeah, fine. Transgender push? Transgender isn't a new thing. I've looked at this in a previous video, but transgenders go as far back as ancient Greece and ancient Egypt. So fake food? What fake food are we eating? What food are we eating that isn't food? Oh, it's so dumb. But you call yourselves the healthy ones, but not vaccinating. You're the ones that are in the population control because you're gonna die. <laughs> it's just, it's really dumb. It's just so dumb. But again, I'm all for population control. At the end of the day, orphanages are full of children who were born and abandoned by their parents. So if we have less people being born, we're gonna have less orphanages. Ultimately, the people who are transgender or in gay relationships are the ones adopting the kids that have already been abandoned. They're the ones doing the good thing. They're not irresponsibly creating a new child just to get divorced. Like, where's the issue there? <laughs> and the final post. Has anyone got any information about the COVID vaccine shedding causing hand, foot and mouth disease? No, nobody does because it's not a thing. They are so unrelated that they couldn't even be close to the same thing. Where do they get these things from? Where does this come from? Who, someone's literally, I think they've got a generator, right? Someone has got an AI generator just stringing anti-vax posts together and then uploading them on Facebook and anti-vaxxers go, oh yeah, you know, it's got a point, it's pretty true. <laughs> What was that voice? Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. This video is almost guaranteed to get demonetized because anti-vaxxers are a touchy subject on YouTube. It's gonna happen. If you want to support me in getting demonetized, I have a Patreon that you can join or you can hit that join button down below to join the channel. It helps a lot more than you might realize. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.